Hi, I'm Lee Keller. I'm Kim Cavanaugh. And we're not quite that clueless. We're not as clueless <laughs> as we were a few minutes ago, uh, but we may get clueless again. So we'll yeah. see what happens during this segment. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about uh, text formatting. Okay. Now, you know, there's nothing more boring, I think, than a, than a, a document that's got nothing but uh, standard text formatting, mm -hmm. Times New Roman, 12-point uh, text. It's the default that starts up every time you start up a word processor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot you can do with word processing to make things a little more Even visually appealing. Yeah, and we're going to work in WordPad again, um, and we're going to talk about some of the basics of, of formatting text. It's, okay. it's really pretty easy. And as we've said before, what we're going to show you is a program called WordPad, but the, the things that we'll look at in WordPad are the same really pretty much in every word processor that you use, mm -hmm. right? So we've got our line of text, and we've saved our file. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before we go on, Notice at the very, very top up the window, Lee. Uh, and this, again, is very common. Right above your arrow there, what do we see? Oh, so up here it gives you a little bar that tells you yeah. what the name of the file That's is. It's a title bar. Provided you saved it. Provided you saved it. And sometimes if you look up there, you might say untitled document. Mm -hmm. or something like that, and that's a sign that uh, you better save that file. Yeah. So if you're not sure what file you're working on, a quick look up at the very top of the window will tell you the name of the file, and it will also tell you the program and the format. So a lot of information okay. in that little block there. All right, so let's see. We were going to go look at... I was um, going to make a few copies of this okay. so that we have some things to mess with. Now, the first thing you do to make a copy is you have to select it, you right? You have to select Now, you were using your mouse, but you also used a keyboard. Yeah. Now, well, you've confused me. You know me. I'm a keyboard guy. Yeah. So, how do you... Uh, let's show... Let's Tell me how do you do both of those selections. Okay. Well, with the mouse, obviously, I could click down here. Hold down the left mouse button. And then just drag it up. Drag it up or drag it, it across mm -hmm. or drag it from left to right. doesn't really matter. You just kind of like painting yeah. your selection. So, you can uh, go up here and you can just... Right. So, if you just want to select one word in that line, you could just... Go up there with your see, mouse. See, I wanted to get the uh, enter key in there, too. That's why I got I that see. blank space got up there. It. Now, the other way you selected was with... Uh, well, I went down here, and I held down my shift key, and I used my arrow keys. Oh, wow. That's what those arrow keys are for. <laughs> well, I thought those thing. were only for doing or moving your little soldiers around when you're playing game. game. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That's something else. So now that you've got it selected, you can mm -hmm. copy it. I can copy it. And remember, there's a lot of ways to copy, too. Right, right. I mean, one way would be to go to edit. And I could use copy. Now, over to the right of the word copy, we see control plus C. Now, mm -hmm. I think that's a keyboard shortcut, isn't it? That is. It? That's one of my favorite ones. It's one of the basic shortcuts that you use right. a lot. I use that all the time. And then another way that you could do this, and I'm going to lose my highlight when I do that, is up here we have a cut, okay. and we have copy, and we have paste. So I want okay, to copy so that. Okay, so buttons on the toolbar do the same thing. Yep. So I'm going to click on that. Right. And that's copied to what we call the clipboard now. It's a part of the computer's memory where it sort of holds things for us. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the keyboard shortcut for paste now, which was Control V. Okay. I'm just going to paste several copies of this down here. So uh, we I can see where, where a keyboard with. shortcut in this case is a lot easier because you just keep popping the keyboard yep. until you get as many copies as you want. Okay. All right. Well, let's start with that first line. Let's imagine that that is the header for our document. Okay. And usually we want that to be centered. And we want it to stand out on the page, and we might even want it to be in a different color. So let, let's, can you show me how we would do all those things? Sure. Up here in our, uh, our menu bar up here, actually okay. this isn't the menu bar, it's the formatting bar. Okay. We have alignment tabs, and you can see we're already aligned to the right. right. If we wanted to go to the left, we would click on that one. But we want center, so let's put her right in the center. Right. Now, if you hold your mouse button right there, one thing that is rather interesting, if you're not sure in a computer program, what a button does, yeah. you can just rest your mouse on top of it, and the computer will actually put up what's called a tooltip, mm -hmm. and that's a little, basically a text box that tells you what that button does. And, and some advanced programs, I have no clue what they do, so that's right. I roll that over <laughs> yeah. to find out. The person who designed the buttons comes up with this really obscure picture and go, what in the world? Uh, so that is a, a good way to center it, um, and again, we can do format on the menu bar to do the same yeah. thing. Now, something that's interesting is since I formatted this whole line as being centered, right. if I click over here and I hit enter, that will stay centered. Ah, so you've entered a new paragraph, mm -hmm. but it keeps the formatting from the previous paragraph. Because and you just did that, that. That whole thing is encompassed in that package. Got it. That's pretty cool. Now, it's a little bit small. We want this to be the, the header on the page and really grab people's okay, attention. So let's... Uh, do a couple things here. First thing we can do is make it larger. Okay. And you use the drop down. And yeah. uh, okay. the computers typically use uh, what we call points, right, or pixels, either mm -hmm. way. Kind of interchangeable. 
It's an old word from um, the typesetting yeah. days. Now, legal is usually eight or smaller. Really? Legal print. You mean the, the little the, teeny the tiny fine ones that print I can at the never bottom? read? Okay. Yeah, they don't want you to read that. Okay. But we want them to see this. So let's go up to like a 20. Okay. And that's pretty big. Yep, that's pretty big, but it's it's blue. I don't want it blue. Well, Lee. it's not really blue. It's only blue because we have it selected. selected. Right. Remember, that shows you that your selected now. text. Okay, so it's selected. Now, can I change the color of my text? Well, we can change color by going over here. And you notice this button has a little letter A on it. Right. That means we're dealing with text. Okay. And we'll come down here and we'll just make this blue. All right. Not a lot of choices on the colors here in this program. No. You don't need a lot of choices. No, you, prob you probably really don't. And there you see it. All right. So that's the basic stuff that, that you would do to, to align your, uh, for, uh, your, your text, okay. uh, size the text. What about font style? Well, we've this got a font is called here. Arial, and that's a pretty nice font for looking at things on screen. It's a little boring. Let's, it's let's very jazz boring. it up. And I like you, it for reading, but when that's you it. when you clicked on that drop down, we see this great big long list of fonts. Yeah. Now, does everybody have the same fonts in their computer? No. In fact, it's really interesting how you get fonts. Some programs will install fonts for you. I see. You don't even know what happened. Right. And then you go to look at your fonts. Say, hey, look yeah. at that one. That looks that looks pretty interesting. And, and fonts are an important thing to know about because they're all loaded at the beginning of starting your computer. Really. So they will take up extra memory. A lot of people say, oh, I'd like to have like a thousand fonts in there so I can choose a whole lot of different right, things. Right, right, right. Not a good idea because that's going to take up your memory when you're working on your documents or all your other programs. Mm -hmm. And you could end up having memory problems. Not that you'll forget. <laughs> but, you know, it can cause this is different from my usual memory yeah. problems. It, it, These are computer memory problems. It could give problems. you a problem right. down the road because right. you have so many fonts. So, right. Usually right. they recommend one to two hundred fonts as a maximum. Well, that's that's a pretty good size number. And if somebody's a professional designer, they, there are other ways yeah. that you can manage your fonts. Yeah, get more memory. So uh, how about there's one I think called Impact or mm -hmm. uh, there it is right there. And they're alphabetical. And there you go. Yeah. So now you've got your high impact text. It's in blue and it's centered on the page. Now that was pretty easy, right? Easy. Yeah. What if I wanted to make it bold? Uh, I don't think you can do that. Well, impact's going to be tough to do bold. Let's see what it changes. Yeah, makes it no. a little bit bigger. Bigger right. print. All right, what about italic? That's we can italic do italics. And right next to it, we have the final one, underline. So we've, got a, we've done an awful lot of formatting just to this line. Right. Where we've centered it. We've changed the color. Right. We've changed the font. Right. We changed the point size. Right. We put bold on it. And we change the font size too, or yeah. font type, the, the, font the type, style, yeah. right? And so underline in italics. Wow! So that's a lot, and again, it only takes a minute to do that. And um, well, let's talk about. Um, well, let's see. Let's talk about something else that's typical. How about bullets? How about this? What have we not done since we've been working on this document? Oh, we haven't saved. We haven't <laughs> saved, and there's like a few different ways to save. We're going right. to talk about that when we come back. Very good. We'll be right back in a minute and show you how to save this file and get things caught up.